What is up, Beach Bums? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. We had some friends that came into town from North Carolina, uh, Josh and Josiah. They were fishing with me for a couple of days, and we had some plans. You know, summertime fishing can be a little different. I'm going to talk more about this at the end of the video. I'm going to talk about some of the things that I saw and kind of the patterns that you're going to run into and the different things and opportunities that you have during summertime fishing. Uh, but we spent a couple of days. This is really, this is two days worth of fishing. Um, this is a morning and then a morning and an afternoon. And so it's kind of all over the place. I, I put everything together, but I did see a lot of interesting things. I saw some things for the very first time, a couple of things for the very first time while they were here fishing with me. So I thought that was interesting. Wanted to share that with you. But I'm going to quit talking. You guys check out how we did. All right, there's stuff going off right here. I don't know if they're ladyfish or bluefish. There are fish jumping everywhere. I think it may be <clears throat> mainly ladyfish. But it's a little frustrating. Nothing is uh, going after the topwater lures. But there are fish. Oh, something just swiped at it. Come on, come on. There are probably some trout in here. They're going nuts. They're so spread out. This is, this. I don't think this is a ladyfish. There we go. Finally got one on. Uh, that, yeah, that's a that's a bluefish. Uh, got me wrapped. I of course love a good topwater bite, but uh, for now, nothing's hitting it. So I'm gonna try the diamond jig here for a minute. See if I can get any takers on it. Because, uh, I mean, there are fish everywhere. Oh, something hit it. Um, a lot of these are the Atlantic bumper that are jumping around, but there's fish eating them. And, oh, dang. There we go. I guess that's a ladyfish. Yeah. Well, at least, at least they're hitting this. <laughs> See if we can get some production. Another fish. That's a blue fish. That's a blue. All right, so diamond jig seems to be the ticket. They're hammering the diamond jig. Keep that head down. Yeah, that's a blue. I think it's a blue. Bluefish on the diamond jig, man. These guys fight. They fight so hard. All right, nice bluefish. We're gonna get them back. There you go, buddy. See you, dude. See, this is why I use 50-pound mono. One fish. I've already got a little fray to it, but I think I think we're okay. I think it'll still hold up. Because, you know, it's obviously a lot more, a lot thicker, heavier duty. Okay. Every cast with a diamond jig so far has been a bite. There's a fish. That was another blue, I think. Man, they truck this thing. Golly, they, when I mean, they hit, it's just like a dang Mack truck coming at it.
What we got? This isn't big. Oh. Is this a little trout? What do we got? It is not big, whatever it is. Just a little blue. A little blue fish. Oh, there it goes. Nice self-releasing. Easy, easy. There's a fish. He hit that weird. Oh, that's a ladyfish. Ooh. There you go. And that one hit it weird. It was like slow bite. I'm just usually when they hit this thing, they're they're moving pretty good. There's a fish. Not a big one. I think it's a little blue. A lot of blue fish out here this morning. Yep, got a little blue. Little guy. Little little. Just, just about got shocked. There was one of those lesser electric rays. They sure like being out here in the summertime, that's for sure. Choked it, huh? There's a ladyfish on the single hook so it should be a little bit easier to get off where is he at theoretically anyway there's a fish this one's acting a little different oh, i don't think that was a blue i think that was a blue Jumped and spit. Yeah, these, these diamond jigs, they, they definitely get some fish. <clears throat> but uh, they are heavy. And I think that has a lot to do with, you know, how these fish are able to shake those, shake, shake the hooks free. There's probably a good solution, but, I, you know, probably trebles, which we, I got a treble on that other one, and I think it does tend to have a higher success rate than this single hook. Oh, tarpon, tarpon, tarpon. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I don't know that they'll hit this. Dude, a tarpon is rolling right here. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see him? Yeah. Oh man. There, there they go. That's cool, man. Hopefully at some point this morning, these tarpon will decide to come cruising through here again. But uh, while I'm waiting on them and looking for them to roll, throw it a top water, can't, you know, you gotta kill the time. But this is what I've got ready for the tarpon. I've got a six and a half inch hoagie swim bait. This is a three ounce. I've got this tied on with 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, I've got this on my 5,500 spin fisher which i put a uh, 50 pound braid on and i've just got it i don't really have like a great rod for this i've just got an eight foot um, pin pursuit too so this is just a pin blank eight foot rod but we'll see they've been coming through if if i see tarpon rolling 
and I even just get the opportunity to throw at them, I'm going to freak out. So hopefully they'll uh, they'll make their appearance again this morning. Uh, I don't have the mic on the GoPro because I'm I'm waiting today and there are waves, so I, I have to be waterproof, so I can't put the external microphone on. I apologize for the audio. I'm just constantly looking for tarpon. Like that's that's what I'm out here to do. <coughs> I think I just swallowed a bug. Just swallowed a bug. These are turtle tracks, I do believe, coming to lay their eggs. I think that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna mess with anything. The patrol people should be out here. But, yep. Came up, looks like she might have laid her eggs last night. That is pretty cool. So she walked up here, did her thing. You know, I don't know for sure if they laid it. I think, I think when they come and check, they'll, they'll try to dig those up. See if there's anything there. And then went back down. You can see the side that she went back down on. This is pretty neat. And then went back down that side. So this would have been last night. Because <clears throat> they haven't checked this one yet. So very cool. Very cool. There might be some turtle eggs down in there, which uh, if you ever see anything like this on the beach, don't mess with it. Uh, let the turtle people handle it. Uh, if, if you're, I think you can call, I don't know what number, but I think you can call and let them know. But we've got a patrol unit that patrols this beach every day, so they should be whizzing by here. Any minute they'll see it, they'll, they'll get everything that needs to happen, but pretty cool, man, pretty cool. Just saw a tarpon roll but it was it was a ways out there but they're here <laughs> and i need someone to come in close but just saw one roll i you know i don't i may just start throwing this i don't really know if it's worth doing that or if you need to see them my my tarpon fishing experience obviously is zero <laughs> so i don't know what what's good or not but i, I may just start throwing this. It was outside of casting distance for sure. The ones that we saw yesterday were like right on top of us. I mean, we, we could have very easily, I was able to cast two of them, but you know, of course I didn't really have a, the proper setup or a good lure. But I, met, I think I'm just gonna start chunking a little bit. We have caught our first bait. We got a blue runner. We're gonna cut it up, get it on a shark rig. Still looking for a ladyfish. That's what I would prefer, but we're gonna take what nature gives us and, and get started. Josiah's got him one. Looks like a stud. Big lady. Some good shark bait right there. We'll cut her up and use her. We got our ladyfish, which is our primo shark bait that is my favorite so i'm actually going to take the blue runner off we're going to put this guy on i'm going to cut him up and uh see if we can get a shark there you go Woo! man what you got dude that thing's fighting Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. It might have just been a lady. Oh man, that, that, thing, that thing was stout. Oh no, it's still there. Oh, it's a pump. Dude, check it out. That, <laughs> that's a big old bobo though. Oh my goodness. It's a monster. That is a toad. He didn't even, he didn't even try to eat it. Nice, brother. Heck yes. 
We'll keep him. Oh gosh, that thing's huge. I popped his gills, I guess. Is that your PB right there? Oh yeah, for sure. Man, he, he trucked it, dude. Something's messing with our cut bait. But I think it's a blue. Something small. Yeah, I think it got our bait. Yeah, that was a blue fish. No luck on the shark that afternoon. But during summertime, you really get in the surf a lot of different opportunities. And that can be a lot of fun. Like, it's a lot of fun to have a lot of different things that you can target, that you can go after. But it can also be frustrating because you don't really know day to day which opportunity is going to be the best. Um, of course, there are certain things that you can look for for different fish, but it really, you just don't know until you get out there. So, I mean, it could be a day where you're focusing on trout fishing. It could be a day where you're focusing on pompano. It could be a day you're focusing on whiting. Could have an opportunity at catching a shark or two. You know, again, I don't fish for big sharks, but we fish spinning tackle for three to five foot sharks, fishing close with smaller baits which is what we're doing there at the end. Uh, but saw some tarpon. Uh, you know, the tarpon, of course, are coming through this time of year. I've never seen any roll as close to the beach as I did uh, two of the days that we were fishing leading up to the day that I went and, you know, took, took a swim bait to try to chunk at them if, in case they did, which, of course, if you go prepared for something, you know, it's not going to work out. But I didn't see any tarpon roll close. Saw one pretty far off, and I'm sure there were probably some more with it, but just only saw the one. You can get distracted uh, during summertime, just like just like I am now. I mean, there's like so many different opportunities that can present themselves. So you can go with a plan, but a lot of times you just gotta be, uh, you gotta adapt, and you gotta figure out what's gonna be your best opportunity that day. Um, here recently, not not in any videos, but on some trips, we've actually had some really good pompano days. We had um, a day where we caught seven one morning in a couple of hours. Uh, caught five yesterday morning and then a couple midday like good sized ones so and it's july so i mean you just don't really know and then you know i i've personally had a couple of days where i've been able to go and catch trout pretty pretty consistently and then we've also hooked up on some decent sharks on trips haven't been able to get any sharks on video <laughs> but they're here you know and we and we have those opportunities so it could be trout could be pompano could be sharks who knows uh, you know, of course, when we were throwing lures at the beginning of this video, we were hopefully going to get some trout. Like, we were throwing topwaters. Conditions felt perfect. You saw how calm that water was. And I'm sure there were trout there, but nothing was hitting our topwater lures. Nothing. Not, not even the ladyfish, not the bluefish. I hooked one bluefish on topwater, but I threw for a long time. Of course, you know, when you're throwing topwater lures, you change lures, you change, you know, with different cadences. Uh, you change your, your speeds. You might have noticed I even changed my speed in just a little bit that you saw me throwing. Of course, you didn't see all of it, but I changed speeds. I changed, you know, I put pauses in there. All kinds of different things. You know, you try to see if you can figure out what they're going to hit and nothing, nothing. So, you know, you, you do what you can, even though you think conditions are conducive for it. But we did catch some fish that day. We caught some bluefish, caught some ladyfish on the diamond jigs. They, those were producing, but no trout. But all of that to say... Summertime surf fishing is a lot of fun, and you can get distracted, uh, but it can be frustrating just because you don't really know what you should be focusing on sometimes day to day. So be prepared for anything and just uh, take some different options with you, but it can be a lot of fun. You can catch a lot of fish, and you can catch a lot of variety of fish, really quality fish, but uh, sometimes it's just tough to hone in and, and, and keep that focus. But guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely was all over the place in this one. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos coming here soon. But we are, we do have today uh, this storm, the tropical storm. Barry is uh, sweeping by us. It's not going to hit us, doesn't look like. But we are seeing the effects with the surf and, and, and storms over the next few days. Uh, probably going to dirty up our waters. That's pretty typical after the case. We'll see what fishing's like. Just have to figure it out from there. So hopefully I'll be able to get some videos in next week. I've been a little behind on getting videos out which i apologize for that just been been kind of fishing hasn't been awesome you know a lot of the times that i've been trying to make videos and of course i stay pretty busy with trips as well but thanks for hanging with me and as always you stay bummy